So if I close this and I go back to the browser, we see how we have our files here and we have our debugger here and then we're gonna get our code over here, over here. So if I open up some of these files, for example, we see that we get built-in contracts already, scripts, scripts. And if I click on one of the contracts like storage or owners or owner, then we get to see the code. The code gets displayed over here. So you can go ahead and open up some of these files. And notice how these files end in a dot sol. That's for solidity, right? Uh, solidity so that when we run these files, the, when we run these files, it knows what uh, data type, the, it knows what type of data these files are storing the information in. We have our scripts. Okay. And then if we look at the left side all the way over here, we're going to see a tab with different functions as well. And if we click to the second tab, we're going to see the Solidity compiler. So the Solidity compiler here is how we compile down our contracts. So when we are done with writing out our contracts and we are you know, we our contracts we're going to compile them down oftentimes when we're done maybe and we compile there can be errors and that's where our console could come in handy where we can debug clean up our errors fix everything up rerun the compile until it is successful uh, after we have successfully compiled our contracts then it's then we're good to go to deploy our contracts and when we deploy them we're effectively transacting them onto the blockchain so i switched tabs over here to the deploy and run and run transaction and we're going to go through what all this does once we start deploying more smart contracts and now we also have other features here we have um features here we have an, an analysis which can actually give us uh, which can actually run analysis for us on our contracts and information. So this could be helpful for understanding our gas in the economy, the security of the contract, miscellaneous stuff, features like that. Then we see we even have Solidity unit testing. Now unit testing is vital when you're actually writing up real smart contracts. We're writing up smart contracts that are going to be permanent that are going to be permanently deployed. In this test environment, it's great to just get the practice and hang of it. But we're going to be writing a full test suite later on in the course and really getting the hang of doing it correctly uh, when we build out our DAP application. And here we see the test file. So we're going to be writing out all of these tests together. And so let's test together. And, and don't worry if this seems a little bit daunt, if this seems daunting. Once we get the hang of it, you're going to understand what all this means.